Chapter 3 After a while, not having sex has taken its toll on our relationship. I don't see what the big deal is, she says. I'm just not comfortable with it, I say. I tell her we can do other things. Both of us are interested in giving anal sex, but neither of us is... Is my fucking... No, I can't do this without the phone's on. Hold on. Okay. I tell her we can do other things. Both of us are interested in giving anal sex, but neither of us is interested in receiving it. She tried her strap-on on me before, and it was far from pleasurable. I'm not going to do that again. Same goes with oral sex. We both like to receive it, but neither of us want to give it. Normally, we can compromise on oral. If I give it to her, she will give it to me. Unfortunately, I'm not willing to go near her vagina anymore. Not with my penis. Not with my tongue. It's not like you have to stick your tongue inside of me, she says. You can just lick my glowworm. Glowworm is her pet name for her clitoris. It's on the outside, she says. But still, I say. I'll keep my legs closed, she says. You won't even hear it. I don't reply. She turns away from me and takes off her work clothes, as if I as if I agreed, folding her glasses and putting them back in their case. Her movements are cold and mechanical. She must be pissed. Giving me the silent treatment, like the time I washed her white fuzzy coat wrong, or the time she found pictures of my old girlfriends and I wouldn't let her throw them out. On those occasions, she ignored me and locked herself in the bedroom. On this occasion, however, she wants to get intimate. She won't look me in the eyes as she unbuttons my shirt and pulls off my pants. She... Kayla? No. She's downstairs. She picks me up and turns me upside down. The, what? She picks me up and then turns me upside down, then plops me on the bed. I don't know how she's able to lift me. She's much taller than me and weighs a bit more, but she's not muscular. She's soft and slender. Both of us are. In 69 position, it's a bit awkward. I'm on top this time and her legs are closed. My tongue scratches against wiry black pubic hair while searching for her glowworm. I feel a bit safe with her thighs pressed together tightly, but my tongue has to dig between them to find the right spot. Stacy kisses the back of my thighs. Because of my height, her mouth can't really reach my penis while I'm on top, but she kisses my legs and licks my ass. It's not working, I say as she nibbles on my scrotum. She lifts my ass and twists her neck until she can get beneath me and take my penis into her mouth. I mostly just feel teeth. A bad angle. Her front teeth dig into the skin, killing any sort of erection I almost had. Her legs part slightly. I am able to find her clit and swirl my tongue around it. She's more wet than I expected. Must be horny as hell. I don't have to do much. She hasn't had sex for so long that riding a bicycle will probably give her an orgasm. She groans around my penis. I look back to see... God damn it, who is that? <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh boy. God damn it. She groans around my penis. I look back to see she's making a fish face at me. Fish lips around my dick like she would make while looking in the goldfish bowl. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if she's trying to be sexy with that face or what, but for some reason it gives me a full erection. Maybe it's just exciting to see her beautiful tan lips wrapped, ar wrapped around me. I go back to the glowworm and suck it into my mouth, slurping it and the skin around it as... Wait, what? <laughs> I go back to the glow glowworm and suck it into my mouth, slurping it and the skin around it as deep into my mouth as it will stretch. Then I release it and suck it in again. I do that to the rhythm of her blowjob. And inside of my mouth, I tickle it with my tongue and the glowworm glow worm da- <laughs> Fucking God! <sighs> my brain doesn't want right. to- And inside of my mouth, I tickle it with my tongue and the glowworm dances happily between my lips. Stacy spreads her legs a little more. I don't know if it is on purpose or by accident. I can see the crack of her vagina completely now, staring up at me as I lick. There is a rumbling inside of it, like a mild earthquake in the distance. The lips spread and a voice calls out to me. I lick Stacy as fast as I can, trying to get her to orgasm quickly so I can get away from her vagina. The voice grows louder. 
I struggle on top of her, but Stacy grips me by the by the, by the waist so that I can't go anywhere and takes me deeper into her mouth. I close my eyes, forget the sights and sounds, just concentrate on the feelings. Concentrate on my flesh inside of Stacy's mouth. Concentrate on her flesh inside of my mouth. I'm getting close to orgasm. Stacy is too. I let my worries slide completely as she squeezes her thighs tightly together, preparing to come. Something bumps inside her. Something pushes at my chin and knocks the glowworm out of my lips. Pissed off, Stacy slaps the side of my ass as hard as she can. I continue. Her belly pushes against me, like there's something moving in her womb. The flesh balloons outward. I try to ignore it. Stacy's doing something perfectly with her mouth. I don't feel teeth at all, and she's able to take me all the way down. There's no way I'm going to stop her. Her belly expands, lifting me up several inches. I think Stacy realises something odd is going on too, but she can't stop either. She feels nine mine she feels nine months pregnant now, her skin stretching to its limit. No, it keeps stretching. She's getting twice almost twice as pregnant. <laughs> she's getting almost twice as pregnant. Stacy orgasms and jerks her head back, cries out against my asshole. Then she puts me back in her mouth and whines as she sucks. Something is moving inside of her. I'm shifted side to side, but I'm so close, so close. I explode into her mouth as a hand explodes out of the vagina. I shriek and jump backward, landing on top of Stacy's head. My penis shoved completely down her throat, coming inside her. She gags, choking, and shoves me off. I hit the floor. Stacy coughs my comment out of her lungs. I look up at her as she coughs, mouth wide open, unable to say a word. She stands and examines her belly as it shuffles. It moves about like it's filled with a million cockroaches. And between her legs, a skel- God damn it! Tanya, is that you? This was a fucking horrible idea. Uh, gonna have to pause it there. Um, <clears throat> um, God damn it, I'm near the end of the chapter.